I worked as a runner, I worked as a camera assistant on documentaries. I did a little, a few things as a clapper loader. It looked like the electrical department were having more, oh, fun's the wrong word, that there was more going on in a way. I started doing freebies, low budget stuff, realized it was, that was what I wanted to do. Went back to a community college, did a city and guilds qualification over a couple of years while I worked as a graphic designer on the side and then went into a lighting store. When I was in the lighting store, I was gaffering low budget, no budget stuff at the weekends. Left the lighting store once I'd got my qualifications and went out on the road as an electrician, mainly doing commercials and pop videos. I suppose you've got two sides to your lighting. One is what you're gonna rig, and the second thing is what you're gonna have on the truck to top it up. You've gotta decipher what the DOP's looking for in terms of lighting the environment. Is he looking to just light the space and let the actors find the light? Or is he looking to specifically light the actors? There are two types of ways to go there. Some rooms, you'll walk into a room and you know that this DOP is going to want a top light built into the room. You could be in an, an old house, you could be in a stately home, you could be in a church. How are you going to get a top light in there? Is it going to be a scaffold structure with Kina Flow hanging in it, three stars hanging in it, or is it going to be a balloon? But if it's a more raw project with a sort of stronger look, or a more co well, what I would think is a more confident look, you're going to be coming through windows, you're going to be getting sources as far away as you possibly can so that it feels natural. And then you've obviously got all the other stuff to deal with, like what's the daylight going to be doing? How late are you going to shoot? Are you going to be extending the day? Are you going to be defending the sun to keep it off? One of the great things about Panelux is not just that they have a substantial amount of all the regular stuff you're going to need, but there's also a back catalogue there somewhere that if you phone up and say, I'm doing, we just shot Pistol, which was about the Sex Pistols. We spent a morning in the warehouse going through all the old units, picking out a number of things that would be of the right character in the right time period for our sets. So we could use them in our, what we recreated TV shows. So that was great. In trying to create a space where the actors can move around, where they can find the light, you are looking for a way to create a strong but real atmosphere with the lighting. We know what we're looking for. We find it in the simplest way possible without you know, causing chaos or slowing down the day. I think the important thing is to, is to keep it rolling and almost to be unseen.